Hello everybody, this is Rob with CodyAmerica.com. I wanted to do a little video for you today. Um, welcome to my low-tech, high-tech setup here. Um, I think you all will uh, enjoy this uh, video I'm going to do for you today. Imagine that you, um, you know, a lot of people do these for your grandmother or your grandmother has a fire stick or someone that's not so technologically inclined possibly that you know this screen can be a little confusing when if you are on your uh, if, you, if if someone isn't very technologically advanced they may not realize that most of this stuff down here is uh, costs money and like I said before I live in South America so a lot of my people here that I've done this for this stuff here is even if you have an Amazon Prime account you can't use it it's geographically restricted there are there is a category they try to throw up here to you that says uh, where to what to watch while abroad and these things work uh, but you know by and large it's confusing for people that are just using their fire stick as a platform for for streaming video uh, like most of my friends do so what I did was I was I was trying to figure out how I could make a new home screen for um, for the fire stick and in, in the past in the older versions of the, of the firmware you could uh, you could put a basically replace the home screen because uh, you could root the device and you could uh, you know install a replacement home screen but it, and they quit doing that they quit allowing that so um, <clears throat> there's a little trick that I sort of worked out uh, with the help of a lot of my other friends and hackers on the internet uh, so let me just show you what I want what I want to do so this uses the combination of three different apps and of course all of those apps are available in the uh, Cody America jailbreak app vault. So we'll bring that up. And I put the apps together. So when you go down there and look for them, they're, they're, they're clumped together in the list here. So let's go down. <clears throat> so the three apps that this requires this uh, is launcher high uh, lean back launcher for the fire tv2 for the fire tv this is alpha 2 uh, launcher hijack version 3.0 and on boot app starter now i'll go ahead and be, sort of give you a rundown of what these each do now on boot app starter that makes sense right it's just, whenever the the, the the fire stick boots up it runs whatever app uh, that's a good app to use if you want to use cody and you want to start Cody automatically every time, um, that's a that's the app you want to use right there, on Boot App Starter. Uh, it's very easy to, to install, but I'll show you that. Launcher Hijack is another thing. Now, Launcher Hijack, <clears throat> basically what it does is it hijacks your home button on your, on your remote so that when you press the home button, you'll get the, the Lean Back Launcher. In this case, we're going to put the Google Lean Back Launcher. <clears throat> so... Um, launcher hijack also what it really technically does is it detects whenever the launcher launches the the, the main um, fire tv launcher it detects it and it launches itself so you might at some point see that there's um that there's a little lag you might see the home screen at times because it might not be as quick but you'll see i'll get to that anyway Here's what I want to do now. I've already installed, um, I've got OnBoot App Starter and Lean Back Launcher already installed. And so I wanted, what I wanted to do is just show you a little bit about the, the app vault. I haven't done any video on it yet. So let's just show you. Um, if you click on the download link there beside Launcher Hijack, you'll notice it downloads. And then the little button there turns into a play button. See, it's like a play button. Uh, a little squirrely here it's still downloading I think that was pretty quick that was weird so okay there it is so we'll just install it just like any other app at this point it's pretty straightforward and we're just gonna hit done because we're gonna back on out of this you can go ahead if you don't have any of these things installed you're gonna install these three apps <clears throat> just like that so let's back up here and it's gonna ask me when I get out, and I always empty the trash on the way out of the vault. Just keeps your fire stick as clean as possible. 
So now we have the on boot, uh, the launcher hijack here. This is the on boot app starter here. And this is the lean back launcher. So what I want to do, let's start with installing, uh, let's start with configuring uh, the on boot app starter. Now it's really the simplest screen you'll ever see. Uh, if you'll notice the little uh, right beside where it says on boot app starter, it's a little pink down arrow. That's where you're at right now. So you just click okay. And you'll see in the list of all these different apps, doesn't, you don't have to use this for this application. Uh, for, for this case, we're gonna make sure that lean back on fire is what starts automatically because that's gonna be our new launcher. So that's it, that's all there is for on boot app starter. So hit your back button, get on out of there. And now we're gonna go and we're gonna do the same thing here for uh, launcher hijacker. It's very simple as well when it comes up, it will show you a list of any other, if you, there are other launchers that are available. Uh, I did a, an article about HA launcher or how launcher. I'm not sure how you say that. Same exact method. It's just that you're going to pick uh, that launcher in uh, the on boot app starter and in the la launcher hijack. So you, it's already selected. So when you bring this up, all you're going to do is click, click. And it's going to ask you, do you want to set your launcher to the lean back launcher? And you said, okay. And that's it. That's all the configuration you need from there. Now, so let's just hit the back button and back on out. Let's go back to the home screen. Now hit home. Now when you hit home now, you get, it's going to take a minute to load. This is the first time through, but you're going to have this. Now the home button now, when you hit it, every time you hit it, it's going to go to that. You see? You can see the launcher in the background. See that? Oh, what? It's not perfect. Oh crap! There you go. It just I'm just I'm just pushing it a little too hard, I think. But anyway, looks just like a Google Player. All your installed apps are here. Uh, there's there's very little setup that you have to do if you want to leave it like that. Now I prefer to go in here and do some things. So I went into the apps uh, into the uh, the settings. So let's organize these. You can, you can order uh, organize these in recency order. That makes the most sense. They'll usually settle out with your most recent in the front, obviously. Um, so that's just for your apps and games. So, but what we wanna also do is, and you can enable any of this too. I don't personally use any of it, but I wanna enable the favorites row. Yeah, you can do some things with the favorites row. You can set the max rows, min rows, uh, et cetera, and with the apps row. So I just leave it at the default. So let's back out now. It looks the same because now there are no favorites. So let's go down here to the edit and favorites. Very, very simple. I like to watch YouTube. I like to use popcorn, Stremio. I use the internet. Um, so let's just go off that. So I hit back. And now you see your favorites are up here. So it looks just like the uh, the launcher that you see on a, a Google Play <clears throat> Google Play device. And uh, by the way, folks, if you're using any of these apps, I, I say it every time. I will say it again. Um, if you're using any apps that to stream your your uh, content, you should be using a VPN. It's it's not really a joke. Um, I, I recommend IP Managed VPN always. Uh, I just really haven't found a VPN that does any better. There's a ton of VPNs out there. Don't get me wrong. They all sort of serve the same purpose. IP Managed just seems to have the best throughput for me. It seems to have the best uh, server availability for me. Just a, a lot of things. And, and I, most of my clients are, uh, they live in South America with me. Uh, there are a lot of clients that come here for vacation from Europe and from all over the world. And, you know, they need to be using a VPN as well because, you know, you've got to get in, be in the airport and you want to uh, check your, your, your bank account or even check into your, um, check into your flight. It's, it's just not safe to be on the Internet these days. Everybody knows that. I don't think anybody disputes the fact that everybody's watching you, the government, uh, whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to put a, I'll put a link in the description below that just uh, gives you a 57% discount on IP Vanish. It's, it's a great deal. It doesn't cost anything. I mean, it's very cheap to begin with, uh, but a 57% discount is a very huge discount for that. So please use the VPN. Don't get a letter from your ISP, which I did like when I was living in the US. <clears throat> I was using BitTorrents and um, 
I got a letter from my ISP saying I was pirating pirating data when I was trying to download it. And it has a, the file name and everything there. So it's not a joke. People are really, literally watching. And more and more, your ISP is becoming a, a policeman for this. And they don't want to get in trouble. And it's just it's just crazy. But So if you just use a VPN, you eliminate all that. And uh, But I really like this, this screen. Now, now you notice that uh, you can't hide the apps part of this. But... If you're if you if you if your grandma's using this, it's pretty easy because the favorites are always here. They're always um, they're always they're always here, and you don't have to worry about them. Uh, they don't move. The apps do move. So for if you for instance, if somebody really does like to use Amazon Photos, uh, which I don't think I could even open, possibly. So. Anyway, if I back out of this, <clears throat> that should move to the front, but it doesn't. But let's, let's, that's, that's odd anyway. Okay, let's move to the front. So what you can do is while you're in here, you can long press on Amazon Photos. You notice uh, it, the screen sort of changes. Uh, now you can move that thing anywhere you want, just like uh, this is exact functionality that you'd have on uh, on your Google device. Now, one thing I found that does not work, I couldn't get it to work anyway. Let's see, uninstall. You think that would uninstall, uh, but it doesn't. It's it's not a functional functionality that they fixed yet. Uh, I'm not sure. You know, the, the they they have a roadmap for getting a lot of these things started, but by and large, everything's going to be uh, working as far as um, as far as that matters, there's really nothing else to set here. You can play with these settings. You'll always get this launcher. So anyway, I really just wanted to show you guys that. Um, I would said in my last video that I was going to make a video on this. You see there's a little lag there. Um, just because I'm, I'm just because I'm pushing it. I, I, I run this as my daily. Uh, this is the, the launcher I use. I don't like looking at all the other junk on there either. Um, when I power it on, I go, uh, I've messed it all up. This is how, this is my personal device. Uh, but I usually have YouTube in the front. It's the same thing here. You can long press and move it. And hit done, and you're done. Very simple. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, if you did like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. Obviously, um, I'm working towards getting a higher tech setup going, uh, but I think this suffices for the most part. But I'm gonna uh, uh, get a little higher tech setup. So until next time, um, I think my next video I'm gonna do is, um, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure exactly, so we'll see. <laughs> I think of, I think of videos that I want to do while I'm making these, and uh, so uh, anyway, you'll see my next video when it comes when it comes out. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.